A portion of today's show is brought to you by Health Diagnostic Laboratory, Inc. Welcome back to the broadcast. Well, you've heard us talk about something called sterols on the show before when our friends from the Health Diagnostic Laboratories have stopped by. Well, today, Dr. Tara Dahl is back with us to dive more into what sterols are and how they can affect your health. And the scary thing, Tara, is that they're being sold like they're so good for you because they're supposedly reduced cholesterol. Right. And actually, I had a hard time finding samples to bring to the show today because they were sold out in a number of pharmacies, which really made my heart have palpitations. So um, these we're are just talk some of that. the things that you so, can right, and don't this, buy these things. Right. We don't want to buy these. So this is an example. Uh, it's a sterile product that does actually lower cholesterol. So if you look at studies, it'll show it lowers cholesterol. It doesn't lower those advanced particles that we measure, and we actually don't know whether there's real benefit at all just because the cholesterol is lowered. It doesn't really affect um, heart health. So this is, again, another reason why the advanced testing is so very right. important, and we talk about it all the time, because what's good for one person may not be good right. for another and you really need to know those advanced numbers to understand how your body's going to react to something like sterols. Right. So what a sterol does is it prevents your body from absorbing cholesterol. So if you eat food and you take this at the same time it'll prevent the body from absorbing cholesterol. Which sounds like a good thing. It sounds like a good thing. Now the thing is if your body basically what normally happens is it prevents absorption and then if any little bit gets into the intestinal cells the cells spit it back up because it's like this is not something the body needs and that's what should happen but several of us many of us probably 20 30 to percent of us actually have receptors that allow us to absorb this into our bloodstream now if you absorb this stuff into your bloodstream it's more toxic to you than your own cholesterol and they find it in plaque of people who've died of heart attacks and so it all of the years that I've, I've had um, my lipid clinic, I've recommended people just avoid these products because you just don't know. You just don't know. You and just don't I mean, know. That's terrifying to know that if right. it actually does get into your blood system, it's it actually can be more, more dangerous to you. Right. And cholesterol. This is another one. This is this beta cytosterol, and they sell a lot of products that are for the prostate. And you can, on TV, they have infomercials selling these prostate beta cytosterol products, which have huge amounts of sterols. I mean, somebody may have an improved prostate, but can Let's end up with a heart one. attack six Let's months later. So we don't want that. Right. That's just an example. There's other, Oops, there other brands like that. And then this is a product. So basically anything that says sterol. If it says phytosterol or sterol, or it'll say usually the key is it'll say lowers cholesterol. I mean, sometimes you'll find aspirin that says it lowers cholesterol. If it says lowers cholesterol in the bottle, it probably has a sterol in it. it just, so anything with sterols, are there any sterols that are good okay, that we don't need to worry about? Good question. So there are some, this is actually called a stanol. It's, it's in a product called Benicol, and this is actually a margarine. I'm going to talk about why I don't recommend this, even though this is impossible to get absorbed into the bloodstream. Because of the chemical structure of a stanol, which is a little different than a sterol, does the same thing, prevents cholesterol cholesterol absorption in the gut, but it, it doesn't get absorbed. However, the only products you can find this in, this is, it's called Benicol. This is a margarine with trans fat, which I just can't recommend but, to anybody. No, I was going to say, uh, you just margarine can't. in general. No, such, I mean, I would ra much rather you have butter. butter. Absolutely. <laughs> and so the other product it comes in is a chew, but these little chocolate chews have four grams of sugar per chew. So to take four to six of those a day, I can't recommend you take high fructose corn syrup with your stanol. So right. even though this is a safer type of, it's called a stanol versus a sterile, there just it's really a isn't a product. form that you can get it in. So basically avoid them avoid and get a test sterols. to know whether or not you are a sterile absorber or not because that also has implications for what's driving cholesterol up and how we can treat it. Now if you're not, if you don't absorb sterols, after you've had the testing done and you don't absorb sterols, are you... Is this actually it's, helpful for you well, to reduce cholesterol? It's safer to take it, but I have seen people take so much that it actually causes them to begin to absorb where they didn't before. Where it's your one of those body things starts where your to body get used starts to, to say, it. "Oh, hey, right. I'm, I've got receptors all of a sudden that are going to start to absorb this." So you can really overdo it. Uh, plant sterols that come naturally, like in nuts and seeds and things, are actually you're not going to get any significant amount that would hurt you. So it's good to eat, you know, plant sterols that are in a natural form. So interesting. What are the other ways to treat cholesterol that, if, if we're not going to be doing this, what you want to be the natural recommendations? Yeah, sure. So if we're talking about not pharmaceutical products, um, I, I love niacin. I'm a huge fan of that. You were talking about uh, that in one of our yeah, other segments. I'm a huge yeah. fan, and you need to use if you're going to buy it as a diet supplement over the counter. It needs to be the immediate release niacin. Okay. Not not the long-acting one and not the flesh-free one. A lot of people, if you go to the pharmacy, you'll find flesh-free, which has nothing that'll lower cholesterol. I like that little flesh you get so, from, like, a little nice It's, nice it's good. It's, yeah, it's yeah. actually, I used to tell people, it's, it's like, think about it as melting away 
plaque in your arteries, mm -hmm. you know, this like you can powerful feel it B working. vitamin. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like something you want to experience. If you, you know, present it that way versus saying, you know, you're going to have a hot flash, you know, call me if you do, right. we'll do something right. different. So, yeah, I think niacin's a great option. That's a good natural Fish option. oil is a great option if you have triglyceride issues. Um, insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, um, higher doses of omega-3 fish oil can be really beneficial. That will not help LDL cholesterol and cholesterol-related issues. But again, on our on our HDL panel, we can actually do an omega-3 yeah. index and kind of help you. And here's what I love about it too: not. is y'all spell it out so easily for mm -hmm. people, and you you explain what we need to be doing differently. You go through the test, and you've got people there in the office that explain very detailed um, right. of, of what what your your test results are. So you really need to do this. You can talk to your doctor if you're interested in getting the HL, HDL test. We will have the gang uh, back with us every Tuesday to learn more about how the testing there can really help you and your family. It's so very important. So there's the information uh, about Health Diagnostic Laboratory. You can go to their website at hdlabinc.com. You can also call them at those numbers on your screen. And then, of course, you can go to our website and you can replay any of these segments with Dr. Dahl and, um, and Boomer when he's here, comes in and, and does some of the segments as well. And it's just good information. Really good. Thank well, you so much for us. being here. Okay.